There you are. So hi, Di. I just introduced you, my love, while you got bumped out. I guess you weren't supposed to hear what we said, but I was explaining to everybody about how uh, your work that you do with WOW uh, farming, and then of course, your beautiful ancient wisdom. And what really matters is that we're co-creators with the universe. So if you could explain what you, what you feel about co-creating with the universe, and then bring us into your calendar and how that works. Hi, Di, are you frozen, sweetie? Oh, it's raining. It's raining in Bali. That's the issue. Hold on, everybody. Sorry about this. You know what? This is really good exercise. Yeah, he's gone again. So this is a really good exercise because everything is it, it works for a reason and um, and is in harmony for one reason or another. So the fact if he doesn't get in today, then that's that's okay too. Hi, Bonnie. Bonnie's visiting us. I made it. Hi. 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 Well, hi, Di. Here he comes again. I'm going to admit him. Uh, he keeps uh, going in and out this morning, and it seems to be because of the weather. So we're just going to, um, to sit in comfort with non-judgment, leave our minds completely open to all possibilities, and let's see where spirit takes us today. Are you okay there, hi, Di? We can't hear you, sweetheart. Still can't hear you. Just keep trying. Yeah, no. Uh, Tammy, can you speak so I can let people know that everything here is working? It's just hide on high dies in. Uh, can you yeah. hear me okay? Yeah, great. Thanks. Thanks, Tammy. Yeah, no, hi, dies. Something on your end, sweetie. It's probably all that rain maybe that you're experiencing connecting to audio. There you go. No, you're, now you're muted. Let me unmute you. Ask to unmute. There you go. Oh, this is so much fun uh, practicing patience because we're all co-creators with the universe. So let's have Professor Haidai explain all this to us. <laughs> well, uh, I did send you guys all the... Um the behavior environment for the day yeah uh then, yeah i didn't share hold on a minute i didn't get into that high die what i'm going to start sharing is explain if you could explain um what your how you co-create with the universe a little bit about okay. the work that you do and then let's get into the calendars okay and explain right. them as best you can all right let's uh let me uh so is everybody still here with me? Yes, you can't see them because I've, I'm screen sharing, but they're all oh, here. Okay. okay. So um, I want to start out with, you know, the introduction that you gave me on Facebook today about uh, the ancient wisdom mm -hmm. and, and how I have, you know, collaborated with the ancient wisdom and uh, and how I, I see us moving forward with that ancient wisdom. Well, I grew up in a Taoist family uh, of eight generation of scholar warriors uh, uh, protecting the kingdom. And we came out of Hoi, Vietnam, which is the middle region, uh, one of the oldest uh, empirical uh, uh, city uh, of Vietnam. And probably one of the oldest uh, uh, city of the Dongsan dynasty. And so my job keeping uh, lineage of my family is to use the ancient wisdom to, to the, remind the people and, and to, to grow up. My father was a general and his father was a general and it goes all the way back to the first general, which is a, a lady, Lady Dai. And, and we, we use the ancient wisdom as a tool to protect the kingdom. And that's how I was taught. And so at a very young age, I learned about a lot about the ancient wisdom, about ethics and morality and 
A lot of it deals with wellness and healing. You know, the Taoist is, is, is known for their energetics and, and healing. And so my quest for, you know, healing has been, I grew up, you know, with the martial arts. I ran one of the largest martial arts school in the Bay Area um, of over 3,000 students uh, for a, a program it's specifically for kids uh, where we just didn't teach the martial art. We used the martial art and the wisdom of the physical technique to help the children uh, become social, uh, respond, have social responsibility. So they volunteer with the police department, they volunteer with the fire department and, and just beyond just the, the art because the martial art, the physical modality is to only remind us what the mental aptitude should be. You know, each technique and each modality of the technique is very clear in resonance of the behavior of, of life, the behavior of, of how humans should be, because whatever we limit to with our body is what we're limited in our mind. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, when, when we think that we're limited in our mind, it's most likely because we're not in tune with our body. You know, it's, it's, it's that very simple connection. And so this ancient wisdom, uh, as I follow and as I, you know, progress through my life experiences and go deeper into what this really means, I start looking at, uh, you know, there's a Hawaiian uh, elder who said this line that really resonate with, with me, which is, we must sail into the wake of our ancestor. So... That really stuck with me because you know the, the whole metaphor of sailing, which is you know you you go you gliding through this unconscious water, you know, and then you're using this wind, which is you know a very strong representation for change, you know, mm -hmm. and 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 what is the wake of our ancestor? You know, the wake is you know all the awakening, you know, all the the high consciousness of what they left behind, you know. So of course, you know, for for being a, a Taoist scholar warrior from Vietnam, we, we follow the books, we follow the, the, the arts, actually, the poetry, that's where they were all written, you know, it, it wasn't so much, you know, in, in so much like the Bible or in, in, in religious texts, it was, it was shared in a lot of the poetry and the dance and the music and the arts. And, and, and so, as my search for that, I started learning all my creativity, all the arts, you know, I, I went through, you know, I learned dance, I learned music, you know, I learned poetry. I mean, in, in Vietnam, the scholar warrior can only debate in po poetry. Like if you want to, you know, for lovers to debate, we cannot use the, the normal language for, you know, uh, we, uh, or, you know, when I debated with my father, I couldn't just directly attack him with, with language. You know, I, I had to use poetry. And, and, and so the connection was to connect at a very abstract state of connection. So then that way, uh, it goes deep. It goes deeper into your reflection. It goes deeper into an understanding. And then for, for me, even at, at you know, a young age, uh, enlight we didn't understood enlightenment, you know. The, the Taoists look at enlightenment as as the ability to uh, uh, to expand this experience, all right? The ability to create resonance in this experience, okay? The deeper that we can go into the, the metaphoric, to the abstract, to the literal, to all these understanding of what this moment is, you know, even, you know, in this current time, you know, where we had problem connecting and we had, you know, which is, you know, this is what's going on in the world right now. We're all having problem connecting. So why shouldn't our device have problem connecting? You know, we act like we're the only special one because there's this whole, like I said, force. And I, you know, and once you start understanding this whole force, you realize it's not us, it's not each other. And so stop blaming each other. You know, there's this whole force that's happening. 
You know, like, uh, and, you know, I always tell this story, you know, the sun is flying across the universe at 70,000 kilometers per hour. And we are the smallest planet being sucked along. We're being sucked along because it moves so fast. You know, that we were getting dragged along, you know, this ride because this sun is moving. And so imagine that force and, and how small are us on that force. So there's a lot of, you know, behavior or behavior and environment that are happening all the time. And because we have gotten lost to what that wake is, you know, uh, that awakening is, or that that connection to that, what that resonance or that expansion is in this moment, we, we, we start taking it personally. We start taking it as feelings. We start taking it as, you know, blaming each other. Like it must be them. And then, and it's, it's not, like I said, you, if you look at how small we are in this universe and how, what forces are out there, we are nothing. You know, this, this bantering of, of, of noise uh, leaving my mouth, if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, I'm, I'm sailing on this wake of consciousness, which is from the sun and all the planetary spinning and, and pooling and, and creating. So my, my question in Haida right there is what we're going to be discussing is your calendar. You know, when most of the women that are in this group have been following me with what I call AAA, which is astrology, angels, and archetypes. And in our yeah. astrology, we do, we follow the planets and we're learning that the planets are actually our chakras. So those planets actually affect us and whatever, if something's going on in my gut today, chances are when I check my chart, Saturn is squaring my sun. It's just really interesting um, to look at it symbolically through that lens. But now you're going to take us on another journey. So can you explain to us and I'll screen share what, what this, and you'll have to excuse me because I cannot pronounce that calendar, mm -hmm. um, and, and explain to us in more detail how you are doing that compared to what we're doing here in North America with our regular astrology. Okay. So I'm just gonna screen share and bring up this for a second. Okay. Very hard to read. The same as if I yeah. sent everybody their transits, it's very hard to read. So can you tell us how this type of uh, calendar, what interests you, how you got involved in it and what it actually, if you could explain in detail what it's about, because to me, it's French. Yeah, and, and, it, and it was French uh, uh, to me for a long time as well. Um, <laughs> yeah. And and I like I said, I didn't come into it uh, from a, a point of view where I wanted to have a belief in some kind of calendar, you You're know, right. whatever that, that right. means. I, I, I kind of came into it because I was pursuing these ancient wisdom. Right. And, and when you start looking at ancient wisdom of the Balinese, you start looking at their uh, harmonious path called Trihita Karana, which is uh, a, a, a harmony path of relationship between people to people, people to nature, and people to the divine. Right. And this is a, their, their main philosophy here in Bali. So as I pursued the calendar, uh, uh, the Trihita Karana, this ancient har har harmonious uh, um, philosophy, I um, stumble onto the calendar. Mm -hmm. And I stumble onto the calendar based on working with some of the highest priests here in Bali who dreamt that I came to Bali and it, I'm supposed to support Bali in, in some type of evolution. And then the highest priests of time uh, uh, who is responsible for the calendar his family came from the subak which is the family that's responsible for all the water that goes through all the the rice fields of bali mm -hmm. part of their lineage is to study the calendar or pass on this calendar that they call wariga wariga okay wariga. so okay. Before I go into Wariga, let me take you back a little bit to the origin of this calendar. Well, this calendar dates back all the way to Hinduism, the beginning of Hinduism. And, 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 and the calendar was a, a combination of astronomy and astrology 
known as geotisa, okay? Yeah. Geotisa stands for the science of celestial light or Ooh. the science of divine light, okay? Uh, uh, geo stands for, for the science uh, and, and tisa is for celestial light or the light of God is another translation that they have. Yeah. And back then the calendar or the astronomy and astrology was considered one. There was no separation, okay, uh, between the two. And, and, and the calendar was one of the sixth limb of Veda that you must learn. Vedas are, you know, like philosophies that you have to learn if you are in the Hindu religion. And so one of the, uh, the, the limb was the, this calendar, the Geotisa, and the Geotisa was not paid for a projection of a uh, horoscope or archetype. It was mainly created for uh, Vedic rituals. Okay. What they did was start looking at the calendar and the cycle and look at this cycle and be able to say, okay, what is happening every day? And this 220 day cycle, they start looking at what day was good for what ceremony, what day was good for what ritual, what day was good for what celebration. And, and just like the, you know, the traditional European counterpart, uh, you know, the, 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 it, it encompassed both astronomy and astrology, but uh, it focused less on the projection of the future and rather than focusing on the day and the energetics of the day and what can you do with that day. And, and as you know, here, especially here in Bali, what, what you can do with that energetic is hyper creativity. I mean, there is, there is no bound to this dynamics of, of, of sacredness. Yeah, what we usually do is look at our charts here and say, okay, now this is what I'm fated for this day, but I can be creative enough to change my destiny. I, you know what I mean? Like, especially if it's a square, I don't, it's squaring, I'm fated for this. What am I going to do about it? So we're still yeah. taking that responsibility. Yeah, and, and a lot of the Ayurvedic horoscope w was that way. Yeah. When, you know, it wasn't a projection. It was very much to, if I'm cancer, my responsibility is to cancer. I'm supposed to upkeep the behavior of cancer. And, and they read the calendar uh, very much like an elective calendar. Right. You know, but as, you know, I research on into... Uh, the concept of Geotisa is when it, from Geotisa, when it migrated towards Bali and, and Indonesia, it became Wariga, which is more a good day. Okay. So yeah. they only focus on the calendar on what day was good to do ceremony. Okay, got it. So they didn't, they, they, they even blur the, the aspect of being bad, you know, like, okay, you, you know what, forget about what negative future that you may have. Let's yeah. just focus on what were the good day. And that's what Wariga mean. Wariga just mean good day. Okay. So, and, and, and so the good, most of the good day became yeah. holy days. Right. You so know, most of the good day became ritual day. And, and most of these ritual were a polarized view of the dark moon and the full moon. So can you give us an example? We've got Lynn, is it okay that we use your chart here as an example? Of course. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. So can you explain to us what that means? Like, what is a good day? How do you see that on this type of calendar? So first of all, can you explain that in the Balinese, there's only what, 220 days? I thought it was 260 in the calendar. You have a different calendar in Valley yes. than we do. I, I, yes, that's correct. And so, yeah, we only using 220 days. 220, okay. Okay. Lily, can I just point out that I met High Dye when you and I, the time that you fell down the rabbit hole? Yes. I, yes. 
Yeah. Oh, I forgot yeah. that. Yeah. And he had his monkey uh, at that point. <laughs> okay. That's so, right. <clears throat> okay. So keep going. Uh, a high die with this. Sorry. Didn't... Well, it, it's very easy for me to jump into the calendar and tell you how to use the calendar, but it's, it's very important that. You know, I, I, I talk to you about the, the, the origin of the calendar because I, a lot yes, of times okay. it's, like, it, it, it's very, very modern mind or Western mind to uh, just jump into the calendar, um, you know, trying to understand it literally, you know, right. from, from more of, 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 the, of the, you know, the logic, you know, of the mind rather than the heart or the action, right. okay? Because, because it's a elective calendar, it's made for ritual, it's made for taking action, it's made for being creative, it's not made for processing in the mind. It was made for, this is, this is a holy day. We do this holy day all the time. What are you contributing to this holy day? What are you, what are you offering, you know? What is the action? It's not a thought. It's not a projection. It is a it is a ritual. It is a ceremony. It is an offering. So right. if we can if we understand it from 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 that way, from this polarized, and then it's also from a, if you are going to make this action, the best way to take an action with you know with anyone that and, and we do it in the modern world, right? And how do I get you to take an action? I either polarize good or bad to make to create a reaction, right? right so I, right. you know, and that's what's happening in the world right now with the media, they're polarizing good and bad and do this, you know, this, if, if you don't do this, this will happen. If you do this, this, will, and what were they doing is why polarizing a society to make it happen? They forgot how to teach us how to be balanced. Mm -hmm. So they're hitting us with all these polarized view and, and you and I are talking about it, it's like, what's going on right now in Canada or, or the world for that matter. I can see, I can, you know, when you start seeing it from a more energetic and a polarized, I see both sides, you yes. know, I can see yeah. both sides. So, I can see yeah. all the arguments depending on where I stand yeah. and how I look at it and, and what hat I put on or, you know, what social economic I belong to or, or, or whatever with religious, perspective it's all there but because i'm capable of looking at the polarized view or the uh the, the the opposite side of good and bad right and wrong and be able to elude different perspective i also have been taught to how to not look at it as good or bad but how do we harmonize good and bad and that's what this calendar is good for. This calendar helps us look at the polarize of good and bad and be able to, like I said, through the three hita karana, which is relationship with people and people, people and nature is also need to be included. And then people with the divine, it's got to, you know, it's all in this, in this polarized view. Then you'll be able to look at the perspective of the calendar more clearly. Otherwise, I get a lot of people that comes in here and they come in from a, a very, you know, mental or mind, mind space. They're not there to offer. They're not here to take action. They're just here to want to know. And it's easy to go, oh, this is good and this is bad and this is right and this is wrong. And then after a while, it's like, oh, it's just nonsense. You know, it's like, you know, um, I tell them Where? to go find Santa Claus. When people ask me to do a reading the way that way or a psychic reading, I'll say go find Santa Claus. However, I will tell them that if they're really interested in learning about themselves, I sit them down with their chart and show them what the planetary formations are so they can read themselves. So I'm hoping that that's what this calendar that you've put together for everybody will be able to do also so that they know what a good day is and et cetera. Yeah, the goal is that yeah. once we, you go through the process of this calendar through action research. And, right. and when you go through it, you know, you go through it your own and, and you figure out your identity in this, in this first figure out the identity. And you first have to figure out your identity 
are you more mind or are you more action? Because mm. those are the two polarized view. Because from the from the from the identity of is are you mind or for your action, then we can move you into your understanding of how you emote, what are your feelings? And then you can look at it, well, I am more thought or am I more ener energetics? Yeah. Okay. And it's not to not to and not to stay at the polarized. If you know if you're more mind, then you then you're gonna need to figure out what where the actions I need to be involved. And if you're more mind, most likely you're more thought, then you need to start tuning in on, on your energetic. And now in a society where we've been conditioned to education to be all mind and all thought, we have no clue of action and energetic. And that's why, you know. You know, it's so funny. People talk about rebellion. We're not capable of rebellion. We've been dumbed down for three, four generations now to not even take any action. Just process. We can process. We can meme it. We can make a joke about it. But it's hard for us to take real action. You know, take take because we don't know how to, from an energetic point of view, how to take the feeling that comes from a thought it's label categorized and then just judge rather than having a feeling categorizing what it do for you and how to get out of it or how to better it or how to be more responsible with it we don't know how to do that because we our mind is not trained like that to education our mind is just the process data information look at experiences that we've never experienced before but we look at it like we did and then get judged and critique on it so that's how our mind works so the paradigm shift here to learn this calendar it's not the paradigm shift is not in the calendar itself the calendar itself hopefully the beautiful part about this calendar that if you learn it for three months and you re really do it well you won't need the calendar no more because you learn all the emotional intelligence to adapt to any situation, to harmonize any polarized perspective, to be able to like move the, 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 the mind and the thought into the action and the energy and, and then stop. And then not, you know, because with the thought has context, right? Stop being stuck in the context only and move it into the habits. So now, you know, a mind can become an action and a thought become an energy and the context becomes a habit, a habitual, a ritual, a ceremony even when you get to the level of the Balinese. You know, their, their devotion for their God and, and you know this through the, all the ceremonies, their devotion for a lost one. When you lose someone in Bali, in Bali, the ceremony, the death ceremony alone will exhaust you. By, so by the time you're done with like, you know, a, a, a cremation, a, the death ceremony, you say, I've done everything for that guy. I, you know, I gave him air because like for three or four days, you have not sleep. You have done every, you know, offering and, you know, you, you've done everything, you know? So this process of uh, this paradigm shift in the behavior and moving it beyond the polarized view, beyond just the action, the thoughts and the context into the action and the energetics and the habits is where you need to wrap your mind around this paradigm shift first. And so the way that we do it in the calendar is that we take you through the basic of the calendar where if you look at the calendar, you can hold up the calendar and zoom in and I will show you because this is a very easy start. Okay. Okay, if you can zoom in a little bit more. Just a little bit I more. I think I can. That's it? Okay, yeah, that's it? That's as far as it can go, yeah. Okay, okay maybe you can pop full screen that, uh, okay. that guy. The green up in the corner. The green, yeah. the green circle in the, in the corner. And just make it big. Is that possible? Just hold on a minute, love. Hmm. No. I'm sorry, no. I can't share my screen. I'm off of phone. Okay. All right. Well, it's okay. No, that's as big as it's going to get. You are okay. 
Okay. So you see there, there are basically three types of boxes. There's the, the lightest box, which looks like a white box. And then there's the blue box. And then on some month, there's a green box. You see it at the bottom there on that one? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, down here. Yeah. Okay. The way that we made this calendar, or I kind of redesigned this calendar so it can match more of like this new paradigm shift. Okay. Because for the longest time, we were just taught to look at the calendar, good and bad. You know, and even some of a lot of Balinese didn't even really care for this because they didn't want they didn't want to know what is just good and bad. Some of them was afraid to look at it as bad. And I mean, what do I do? Do I do nothing? <laughs> you know. So then a lot of Balinese that I, I that I know were like are afraid of the calendar. You know, they like to read the calendar for the behavior, but they don't want to know if it's good or bad. Right. And the way that we look at the good or bad is because we want you to start feeling, like I said, moving. You know out of the old paradigm shift of, of mind, uh, uh, thought, and context into more of, of, of you know, emotional intelligence, which is action, which is uh, um, um, uh, uh, energetics. So if you look at the white day, the, the more white day, that's the day you need more reflection because that's the day you really need to balance your energetics. Okay. Okay, and I, I will tell you how to read the calendar so you can uh, uh, balance the energetics. Okay, mm -hmm. then on the blue day, mm -hmm. the blue day means it's a good day for you to move forward. Without no worry, you can say, hey, it's a blue day. I'm just whatever project I have, I'm going to move forward. But now you have to be in present. There might be like some detail that you might be in present of your breath and action. Okay. So you just need to, you can move forward, but be here with me. Yeah. Like today's my blue day. Okay. So I don't have to worry about, I don't need to balance my energetic. My energetic is balanced today. I, I do have to be worried of my present with breath and action. Ah. Okay, it's very simple. You, you know, the, this calendar can get complex for ritual purposes. Right. You know, for the high priest. And if you want to go deep in it, making your, your life more sacred. But at the basic, you know, the boundaries are very simple. You know, mm -hmm. it's like. You can move forward, but be in present of your breath and action. Take a moment to be in breath and action, okay? Then the third one, which is the green day, okay? And most of those means, the, they call it your divine light or your div right, divine right day. Wow. That means the sun is in your shining, it's in your light, and you cannot do wrong. It's a great day to sign MOU. It's a great day to do whatever that you want to achieve your intention. Okay, so whatever your intention is, on those days, you cannot go wrong on those divine daylight. Okay. Okay, I just have a quick and, question. Sorry to interrupt, yeah. Hi Dai. So when we're reading this, then this would be for February. So this would be the first, second, third for them to understand in their own calendar days. So I've got Cheyenne's up here. So it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On the 10th of February, she had a green day. Would that be correct? That's right. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Thank now, you. Did anybody get to try out their days to remember their days? If the 10th okay. was a good day or not, Cheyenne? Lily, the days look like they go up and down, not across. Yeah, the, the, the date is in the middle box. So okay. they don't go across when they go like they Oh, they're up and down, up and down. Go, thank yeah, you. They thank go you. one to three down, and then the next column. See, so the one you had, it was the Smart. eight. The, green, the yes. green day was the eight. Good, good. Thank you, thank you, darling. Yes, I see that now. Brilliant, you. Okay. Yeah, no, hi, die. They wouldn't have, because again, for us, it was just friend, like, some people here speak French. Do you so want to know what happened on the 8th, Lily? Tell me. Tell I us. I actually did a whole bunch of stuff for my business on that day that I haven't done in a long time. 
Wow, so, yeah, that's a good new business cards, new menus, but new uh, supplies. Yes. Was it successful for you? Yeah, it was great. I got so much done. Yeah. On Divine Light Day, you get so much done. You're so full power and energy, you know, and, and, and if you, you know, like I said, those are your divine right. You can, you, whatever you focus on, you will get it done and it, and it will be your way. And, and I wanted to say, if I can, if I can uh, comment as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. My, my green day was the eighth as well. And I couldn't believe how quickly my thought manifested. I was yeah. looking for something. I just had the thought about something coming in and boom, it just showed up. Oh, yeah. so it, it was incredible. It was like, wow, just like that. Yes. It's amazing. It's like I, I tell people all the time, it's amazing. Like, you know how those days work. And and we, we and we gear up those days based on the on the moon calendar. So you could you kind of know if it's dark moon to full moon, you can migrate, you can see if it's closer to the full moon, what kind of power it is. You can start playing around with the type of power mm -hmm. that of that day is for you. That's great. I wish Thank you. I wish I would have understood that a bit before because mine was on the eighth as well and i have actually it, i went the opposite way on that day it's when i called and canceled my music because i felt i just couldn't manage anything anymore and so it was actually kind of a down day and that's a green one for me <laughs> so i'm kind of going ah oh, man <laughs> i really messed up that one <laughs> no no uh, this is this is the beautiful thing louise is that you can you start knowing when you're in or out of alignment with your life. Yeah. And it's very clear, like the same day that brings you a lot of power and a lot of force can also push you under and make everything go wrong in a terrible way, you know? And, it, and, it, and you have to really ask yourself, are you in alignment with your, you know, they call it, mind step and conclusion you know and, and on each calendar there's mind step and conclusion that you can look at that's another part of the calendar that you can read and then if, if you start following the mind step and and, and and you're in resonance with it then like i said you're building that flow you you know it's it's this energy it, it, you know it's it it's uh you know it's flow of energy so it's just like anything you know if you ride a, a good wave and you you're on top of that wave then boy you're gonna go in that wave really nice but if you're not in balance and you're not in alignment that wave is gonna slam on you and you're gonna feel it and i get people all the time crying ca calling me up and saying you know oh my god i can't believe it and then if we look back on their calendar with them and we look at their action research, you can see they, they're not in alignment uh, on days that they, like this, more than the divine day, which is one or two days a month, is there's the many white days and many blue days. And what the white day, technically at the, at the, the, the basic of the white day is to give yourself permission to not have to do anything, not have to think, not have to have any, any energy. And the, and the, and that you can just ride that day out if you and give yourself permission. And, and when you get to the level of, of, of developing and training with the calendar, it's like a workout. You use the calendar, like, you know, you got your coach and, and your training. The hardest part in the calendar for me is to give myself permission to do nothing. Mm. That's the hardest. Okay, the green day, I got it. I got it. I'm, I'm on that wave. I'm riding. Blue days, I'm cruising. Give myself, I like, give yourself the permission. Chill the heck out. It's a white day. You don't need to do anything, but just, just chill out. I have a question. It's very difficult. And that's the hardest part of the workout. And if you don't do that part of the workout and you stumble and you overwork yourself on that day and you do a bunch of wrong thing and it blurs over to the blue and then it, you keep tumbling through the blue and then you hit your green day. Oh man, you, you're going down. That wave is going to crush you. That's what happened yeah, to Louise. No. Yeah, yeah, and exactly that. that, that That's what happened to Louise. You. Just continually working, working, doing what she has to do instead of relaxing on those blue days. Wow. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, or the white day. The blue the day, days you can still Sorry. move forward. Yeah. But yeah, it was on it was blue forward. days. I had two blue days leading up to the two green days. And I, no. I had all this stuff in my mind going, I have to do this, this, this. And I just finally went, I got to let something go here. There's too much. And yeah. and I took the one thing that I let go that I hold dear to my heart because I just found it and that I didn't want to be taking advantage of someone's time if I wasn't going to be fully there. And, yeah. But it just depleted me. Just, yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you for sharing that. Uh, before we get to Tammy's question, though, Haida, I just wanted to ask... Uh, Right now on my iPhone, I'm looking at Suzanne Winlove Smith's chart. And what I'm noticing is that people that are around the same age group will have the same day of green. It, so is that because of that's why you need the birthdays? There's certain uh, transits or whatever you want to call it within that certain date and time of their birth that most of them will have the same green days. Because no, you, it, that's this, just a, that's just a fluke that you're you know. Okay. There's no is has nothing to do with year. It's just okay. it's it's the cycle of the the calendar. So you if you fall into a cycle that day, there's yeah. four basic calendar, right. and you fall into the different cycle. As you as you migrate in the calendar, you will learn your actual day that you were born, the Antonon. And when you understand your Antonon, it's like any other day in the calendar that you see, you'll know if, are you born on a blue day or are you born on a red day? Okay. Are you a more of a reflective kind of person that needs to, you know, reflect more before you take action? Or are you a, a green day kind of person that you, boom, you go, things work for you and you do it. And you you work by the seat of your pants and it, it works great, you know, and, and, we, you'll learn the calendar uh, when you get to that step. The way that we share the calendar is we ask you to follow the action research and first start marking, are you in sync with the white, the blue, and the green day? Yes, I'm, I'm taking the time off. Yes, I realize I can feel that it is a lower energy. Yes, I feel that I need to be more reflective on that day. And I noticed that when I give myself permission to have that day off, I feel a lot better. Blue days. Yes, I am moving forward. Yes, I get more success by being in present of my breath and my action, you know, and, 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 and be able to go that way. And then same with the green day. Am I in full motion or did I get slammed? And if I got slammed, we can look back to a few days ahead to see did you build up the green day? Because it's sometimes the green day and you work so hard on the blue day. It's like, like I said, you're paddling towards the big wave and you're yeah. doing great paddling, but you overexert yourself. And then by the time you get to the, 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 the big wave on the green day, you poop out. And then, you know, you just, you know, get, you crash, you know? So these are things that you need to look at the calendar at the first step. To start doing that. Once you do that for a couple of weeks, and for some people it takes longer, you know, I'd say that if you're pretty much, you know, it's like I said, this is like a workout. So if you do it for two weeks and you sense it, then we can migrate you into understanding the calendar, how to play with it a little bit more. And and I can explain to you what that is uh, once we get all the question from the first or feedback from the first uh, uh, round of folks here. Okay, Tammy, you had a question? Um, yeah, he kind of answered it because my question was, how do you know ahead of time if you're in alignment or not? So like on February 11th, it was a blue day. And so I was supposed to be doing this information session on Zoom and all these people kept signing up and there was 40 people. So I thought, oh great, this is aligning with this blue day, everything's, and I even took some time and did like some chi breath movement before time got myself all grounded. So I felt like I did all the steps. And then all the eight people of those 40 actually showed up. So was that just because they're like fickle people or was there something else that I could have done to enhance that blue day? Great question. Okay. Okay, good, good, good question. Yeah. So the, the beautiful part about this calendar, if you see at the bottom bottom right corner, you'll see Europe, seven, eight, nine, or 10, right? You see the four number at the corner, at the bottom which, of every box. square. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. Okay, so, and, and we were talking about this today uh, uh, with Lily. We need to be more conscious nowadays because because I'm a blue day and I'm I'm working out. I'm using the calendar. I'm working out. You know, I'm feeling good and I'm like when I did it, everybody come up and sign up and they're there. They're present with me and they feel my energy. And then all of a sudden, no one show up is because now we're in a very disruptive time. So everybody's like, you know. The, they can't make up their mind. If you're working out with your calendar, yeah, you're on the calendar. You're you're working out. You know it. You get on it. You do it. The work. But for a lot of us, what we noticed in the last two or three years, especially with COVID and the pandemic, people are fluctuating. So because you're blue at the bottom of those four numbers, there's other people that are red. And nowadays, the blues are also red. So which which numbers are you looking at, sir? Like at the bottom in the small corner. Okay, Maybe where, you where, where, say, where, where, where it says the UR? URIP. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, yeah, yeah. The URIP. Yeah, my, my, the my head's seven, eight, nine or something on the eleventh. Yeah. Who's controlling the screen right now? I am. Okay, why don't you drag that calendar onto the desktop and open it up on the desktop? So you, you're not oh, looking at it. that's probably better, 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 better. Yes, hold on a minute. Where is it? Bear with me for a sec. No, just open up the what's yeah, happening. Just, I'm drag just gonna, that. Yeah, I'm just going to yeah. stop share for a minute till I find it. Bear with me, everybody. Thank you for your patience. I put it on the screen, but I can't find it. Um, somebody else may have another question while I get this done and organized. Could you explain the red box more? I didn't hear that well. The red box, uh, which uh, the, the, the red box on the side? Yeah. yeah. The red box on the side are mainly the pink box. They're explanation of what's going on in the calendar. Okay. They're not part of the calendar. I mean, they're, which, I mean, they're explanation of the calendar, but they're not a date. So which one are you referring to when you talk about the red box? Inside the white box, there are red boxes. Uh, okay, I've got this Go on to the my... white box. Can you zoom in? Yeah, hold on a minute. Can you zoom in more? Okay, so the white box is right here, the light one. Yeah, no, no, inside the, yeah, yeah. Zoom in on it, zoom. Yeah, it won't let me, honey, even in this. Um, go to the plus sign on top. To the hold right. On. Yeah, just hold on. There's red writing, but I don't see red boxes. Th thanks, again. thanks, thanks, Randy. Okay, so where are we here? So this is what you're calling white, this number 16? Zoom in. Okay. Zoom in. Uh, bear with me. Oh, too much. Okay, no, it's okay. Wait, stop. Okay. 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 So you see the white box right there? Mm-hmm. It on top. It those. It has in the middle. It has Patti and it has KKK, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. So that means it's a reflective day and it's a negative reflective day. <laughs> and what is the reflective? The reflective means Patti. Patti says that today the energy is wrong. It's in Patti. I mean, whatever you do, uh, you have to be careful. It will not work out. Don't okay. expect it to work out. And the KKK, also in red, the KKK stand for Kliwa, Kliwa, Kliwa. And Kliwa is kind of like a transgender is not masculine or feminine. It's like, uh, you know, it's like in the middle is, is, is kind of like a non-committal. So today is a bad day. Things won't work it's out. It's three hours. Because it's non, everything will be non-committal. So that's tomorrow for somebody. I think that's mine. 
<laughs> Here, oh, what's this okay. money sign? <laughs> That's today. That's the one I, I gave you guys today. Okay. And I get okay. This is a this is a great one to go into because um, if you go into it, I will show you uh, what the behavior is for the day, and I send it to you uh, today. You remember the calendar I sent to you? This morning, no, because I was. Yeah, I, I I send you a a. Okay, I'll uh, I'll put that in the chat after. In the description. And it explained the whole day. Actually, if you can look in your if you can look in your WhatsApp, yeah, and you can open it up, then you can, then you everyone can see exactly what everything means. Okay. I, I took today and I broke it all down. Just let me stop share for a sec. I, I got to okay. go into WhatsApp. Um, I did manage to get it on my iPad or my computer here. Okay. So Anybody else have, have another question while I'm getting this done? I just wanted to know what Lara means. L-A-R-A. -A. Okay. So Lara and Patty, there's on the top box, there's always four. Lara, Patty, or Ratu, and Guru. Lara means, unlike Patti means this, today is not a good day, things will be successful. Lara means today the mind is going to, only going to think negatively. It's going to have a hard time thinking positive. It's going to look at the negative before it looks at the, before it does anything. You'll, you'll see what is the problem. So for, for, for example, today the 15th, Number seven, who's, who is uh, Europe seven? Here's what you sent me today. Is this what you're talking about, High Dive? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I didn't get a chance to share this yet. Again, not okay. knowing what it is. Yeah, so this is today behavior. Everything about today's behavior. You got, you got your mind step and conclusion. Today, everybody's mind is in the skill and versatile mindset. Hmm. Today, the step for everybody today is happy uh, and, and, and often successful today. Everything that you do today should be successful, except for seven. Seven and eight, people who have the seven and eight calendar and, and, mm -hmm. and if you know, if you have a seven or eight calendar, you look at the top right of your calendar and you'll see Europe, you know, 7, 11, 15, or 8, 12, and 16. Where? Those Where? people. Yeah, those of you that received your own private calendar, you'll see that. You should be able to see that on your calendar. Go on ahead. the top right. Yeah, on the top right. Top right of the big calendar. Yeah. Okay, so so what if it's none of those numbers? Sorry, like so you you should, you what do you have? You have what? What's your first 10, three number? Huh? 10, 14, 18. Okay, so if you look at today uh, calendar, ten, nine, and tens are good. So today is good for you. For seven and eight, they're not good. And this go back to the question before when you're like, hey you know, it's a blue day for me and everything is good. Well, you got to remember out of your 40 or something people, some of those people are probably a seven and are, are in the red. And if you don't know the behavior of those day, you can't reaffirm that with them. They mm. followed you because you, you were blue. And so they're like, oh, when they listen to you, they're like, oh yeah, this sounds like it's real. This sounds like it's good. And then when they hang up with you and they go into their own world, they went back to red. And then when it's time to show up, you are not there to support them. So then you go back and you, and then, then they say, oh, I'm not going to show up. Can you Do you use, see how that worked? Yeah. Hi, Dai, can you use the example, not to go backwards, but I remember you telling us a story about your, who you studied this with, the guru. And it was his, day. it wasn't his day, even though he was scheduled to talk. But you got yeah. up and talked instead because you, so you obviously would have had a blue day or a green day. Yeah, I had a green day. Okay, now that we're understanding a little bit more, now we understand. And he had a red day. 
Oh, okay. Okay, he had a white day. Okay. okay. And and technically, technically he was, you know, he 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 was the master of the calendar. He could have used he could have used the behavior to shift it. Right. How do you shift it? You like, you know, if you have KKK, that mean you 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 transgender, you you neither ma masculine or feminine and you're being uh yeah, you you're being wishy-washy. You can be more masculine and be more feminine to change the, the day, to shift the day. So this is an. Really, so go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, you would have to reflect your day. If you have Lara, then maybe you want to do a meditation to go into nothingness before you go into that day. If you have to go into that day. Mm -hmm. You see how you're shifting your behavior. Right. So. And if you have a party day where you know it's not going to work out for you, you need to go in it very positive, and you need to change your 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 masculine and feminine energy to also balance it out. And then you have to look at your mind step and conclusion to be able to see what is the real problem. Like today, today, down a persona, have a weak hearted often lose control when angry, when subside, will feel regret. Some of you in this room has that energy today. Okay? And then some of you have that energy, likes to help people and, and generous, like to help people that he or she love. And then the other one, some of you guys are rich, but greedy. <laughs> That's the persona <laughs> of the day. So if you know the persona of the day and the mind step of the day, then you start feeling it out. So this is great, right? You got a group of, you got a community of people. And right now you're just like, you know, working, doing whatever and you're sharing and it's great. But if you really sat down and we map out your whole team here, your breakfast with soul, and you start using this dynamic leadership giving each other the power to lead this group on different days. Right. Okay. Do you remember what today is? You, what, what number are you, Lily? I have no idea. Okay. Because my, my, I don't have it for February. You sent me one, I think it was for January. So I don't have the new updated one, which was my next question to you. Um, I don't know about you girls and hi, I, I hope that you can bear with me when I say this, but I'm basically very lazy and this sounds complicated at times for me. Yeah. Um, so I love that we have to take accountability and responsibility for our energy every day. Absolutely. So yeah. the easiest way for us to do this would be to download an app. Is that correct? And then do our own. How does that work? Or, or is it easier if I start another page for this type of work, if anybody's interested to follow the dynamic of the energy? No, I'm going to be, uh, you know what, I used to just be very, you know, optimistic and promoting it, you know, yeah. and then after, after the, the, the uh, you know, Ratu Padanda, it's yeah. made for high level conscious people. It's not right. for your normal For everybody. People. Yeah. No, I agree. You got, yeah. This is for people who are want to really be sacred. Right. These are people who want to do the sacredness. This is not your easy because this is hyper emotional intelligence. Even if I gave you one week module to right. follow. Right, right. Most of you, it will be very difficult to go through it because it's a workout. It's like, okay, let's, 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 I'll I take you to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and we're going to start working out and we're not going to work out like a regular guy. We're gonna work you out like an Olympian trainer because from these the are so yeah. This was written from you know. It's easy to say breakfast with soul. These people deck, they focus their lively generation of lively on their soul. Yeah, you know, absolutely. They, they they're trying to achieve moksha not in this generation lifetime, but in many generation lifetime. So if you want to really do this, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest because a lot of people think oh. You can do the basic. You can look at it if it's a white day, red day, or blue, green day, and say, that's it. Just move forward. It's good enough for you. No, it's how to work it, how to move through it, how to be. That's the simplest you can do it. 
Okay. But to move it at the other level, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have somewhere along the line. It, yeah. it, it's either in your. I tell people it's in your karma or not in your karma. Some of them cannot do it. Mm -hmm. Like Padanda won't even work with people who have double red days, born on double red days. They said they won't get it. Okay. That's why they have Padandas. That's why they have the priests to, mm, to follow the Padandas. Right, right, right. Makes you know, there, sense. There's a whole chain of people helping them through it. What I'm trying to break it through, what I'm trying to break it through for people in regenerating this calendar is to bring you at least to an awareness of doing the paradigm shift. Yes. To move from mind, thoughts, and context into you know uh action energetics and 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 feelings you know and 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 and, and dynamism so at least you get to that level so we can move the planet towards a regenerative culture yes if you want to be a master at this calendar it's not like horoscope where you can learn to read it and understand it if it's not in your karma you won't you won't be able to do it got it because it's the it's the, it's the art of knowing, uh, the knowledge of knowing. And, and like I said, some of us cannot go to that level. When I was with Padanda at the beginning, I, I just, you know, he called me Jaleg, which is like uh, terrible, ugly, <laughs> okay? <laughs> because I would just question everything. But technically yeah. on the calendar, I'm good, okay? I'm, I'm born on a div day. I was yeah. blue, blue, blue everywhere. But I just didn't want to follow it his way because his way was in a very much, you know, they, they're in a caste system. They follow the caste system. But I, I'm, you know, I'm generation of Kingsmen and I'm very high on my own caste <laughs> yeah. of calendar. So I'm like, no, we shouldn't teach people this way. You know, yeah. we, we, we're dumbing them down. And then, of course, when he dies, when I realize he's correct. Some people are not made for this calendar because this is a sacred, holy calendar. Got it. You know, it's, it's not like, oh, follow the chart. I can teach it to you, but some people are made for lifting heavy weights and doing high kicks. And some people are not born in their body to do that. Can't expect them to do that. This is made for a hyper- emotionally agile being, mm -hmm. which we can all strive to be. And that's why this is more of an action research than I'm teaching you guys. I'm trying to get more action research from you guys. And if you want to do action research, we break it down to one month at a time. Right. And then you follow the white, the blue, and the green day. Yes. And then if you say, okay, hi, Dai, I really got an important day on the 17th and I need to know, then I can give you the behavior and I can coach you. Okay, you're gonna need to come in. All right, you're gonna gotta do your exercise, you gotta do your warm up, and you gotta get your body ready, you gotta get your breath ready, because this is what's gonna happen. And then you can go and tackle that day like a workout with the coach. Right, that's what. Then needed. if that's yeah. successful for you, then we can tackle more days together. Or we say, that's a big day, you know? And I will tell you like, no, based on who you are, this day will kick your butt because you don't have the, you were born on a negative red day and this is a full opposite day, everything against you. So if you're gonna tackle this day, oh my God. It's like me sitting over your shoulder and saying, nope, you're gonna get angry. And you're like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to get angry. Like, okay. Because you, you can't control it. No. You know? It's like I told you today, you know, you have a weak heart, often lose control when angry. It's in the persona today. You're going to lose it if you're born on a red day. <laughs> you, you, if you're born on a green day, you'll be like, oh, or a blue day. You're like, okay, I got it. I, and I feel like I'm going to lose control, but I got it. But if you're born on a red day, it's going to be hard. You're going to need someone to be, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't say so, nothing. You know? How do you know you again know which color wow. day that you're born on? Is it from the charts that you did for us? How do you know which color day, green, red, or blue? No, I would have to go and, uh, I would have to look, go and look each one of you. What right now I did was I look up your date, I found out the Europe, and I gave you the calendar. 
If you okay. want to know more, if you want to know, you have to up to, I will, you know, like I said, let's, we, we can take that as the next step. Yeah. yeah we have to re look yeah. at the calendar and see which one of you guys, the aptitude. Yeah. Because most of the time, uh, that's how we qualify you to be even be a student. You know, we look up your chart and we say, no, you're not, you're not ready. Yeah. Trust me. We tell you you're not ready because it's, it's not that. But then if they tell us, no, I, I need it. And I've been through some, because sometimes trauma do bad things to you. But sometimes trauma or uh, 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 sickness will wake you up. Mm -hmm. And we have seen a lot of people because of sickness, some illness, uh, they will they will snap out of their whatever their red and and then they will they will see the light and they're like okay no I I'll, I'll, I can do it and then we we support them you know but it's it's. I'm, I'm sorry I have to, you know, you know, and I don't know, I don't know why, I guess I'm talking to breakfast with soul people and I normally never say this. Oh, I'm grateful. People, I, you know, it's, it's the truth. It's real. It's honest. It's soul. You yeah, girls now I, know why I love this guy so much, you know, like it's, yeah. Yeah. I like, I know I normally never tell, I'm very positive. I'm like, no, you can do it. Yeah. It's okay. You know, you, you you can do it because I'm I'm you know I guess because I'm born on a green day I have a lot of hope for a lot of people you know but yeah most people won't do it they're like no it's too tough because you're gonna waste your time and it's better that you follow the calendar in the most basic form just blue red green or yeah. white blue green just follow that you can make money you can chill out you can give yourself a lot of permission to do a lot of things yeah. But to be able to shift behavior, you're gonna you you have to you're gonna have to be a Jedi Knight. You know, you're gonna have to yeah. you're gonna have to do the work. Yeah, there's a couple of, there's a couple of people in this group that's on what we call the charism wheel. And man, that's a that is a lot of work. It, you, we don't take this stuff lightly. And I'm grateful yeah. that I actually asked that question because I get was getting a feeling for some people it can be like mine, like trying to get all that information in the mind so it's easier for me to say okay hi I, I want the simple version and i'm glad i did that because then we get to see and hear the true sacredness of, of this truth okay somebody uh sylvie you had a question yes I, I want what does the what does it mean the black circle and the white circle the black circle i have a black circle and then i have a like white. a dot a, a dot yes. on let me just oh, yeah, bring it's up about one. Me, full moon or new moon. Oh, oh. Moon. Okay. Yeah. And, and the way that you work that, okay, and this is like energy. Some people at the full moon, they get more energy. So if okay. you see the blue rising that way, you and the blue is rising that way, then you start building your work, you start building your setup because you don't wait, you don't want to wait everything for the green day. Okay, you build up the green day, what you want to do on the green day, you build it up and you slam dunk it on the green day, you, you know, or you, 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 you ride into the wave and you wait to ride the big wave, you know, the big project, but you should be get everything in alignment with that wave. So if the moon is full moon is where you resonate and we're moving towards the full moon that way, then you, you will you you know it's like you know like i said it's an energetic calendar so you you can start building your energy with the moon use the moon to build it but if the moon goes towards new moon so just know that you know you, as you're going into the blue day but you as you're going into the blue day or white day you might be going into the new moon which means you'll have low energy and you be, need to be conscious of that mm. And what is the star? I see little stars on the calendar. Yeah, those are the same with certain sacredness of the day that certain things are aligned, like depending on like, so there's like 10 or 15 behaviors. So there's certain sets of behavior makes it a very unique star kind of day. And that just means the dynamics of that day uh, is unique. And so you you start paying conscious. Same with the dollar sign. If you see the dollar sign at the bottom, mm -hmm. the, like today, okay, like so to, the, like today, you guys, 
Today, you're just beginning your day, but let me read you what today's energy is. Today is very successful day. Today is a good day, you know, to make offering towards your highest source. Okay, whatever your highest divinity is, it's good to make offering because today is a very successful day. The mind is fresh, but all the information you will, that's why, you know, that's why I want to be direct because the information of today, you will understand it from the inside. And if you understand it from the inside, there's nothing I can do about it. You either understand me or you won't understand me. You either understand what's going on today or you don't understand what's going on today because you're, all your knowledge is from within today, which is great because you get to know what you really want today. Okay, today is a good day to be diligent when you're trying to fight your demons. If you have demons in you and it often rises, today's that day to kick its ass. It can be done today. Okay, so it's a good day to be diligent, especially in dealing with our demons. And then if you don't think that you can beat them, <laughs> which some of us cannot beat our demons, make offering to them. That's what I love about Bali. Uh, you can't beat them. Just say, hey, you know what? Here's you win. <laughs> you, you're bigger, better than me. Here's my offering for you. <laughs> I'll pay for peace. <laughs> yeah, just respect it. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to respect you. Okay. Yeah. And like you see, these are, these are the kind of emotional intelligence that you have to have. Okay. By learning this calendar. Also today, um, don't be wasteful. And, 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 and you will recognize being wasteful by over, like not wasteful, but over talking. That's why I say today, if you don't understand, I'm not going to waste my time to try and explain it to you. I'm not going to be wasteful. I'm going to be very clear and tell you what's possible, what's not, because you will know from the truth or not truth on the inside. And if you will know this calendar, you want to go more and you want to go deep into it, or you, no, you'll just stick at it at the very simplest form. The great part about this calendar, you guys, if you go through just the white, the green, and the, and the blue day for just one to three months, just follow this calendar for one and just do it, follow that energetically, they will really help get you into learning how to flow with your energy. And then, like I said, if you don't use the calendar again, or you might down the line might need to use it again just to get back onto your energetic. That's the beautiful part about it. when I heard that about this counter, I love it because I didn't want to follow a horoscope every day. Like for me, as a, a scientist, I didn't mm. find that useful. Okay, for me, give me something that I can use for a little bit and build my energy, build my strength, and then I'm off. And then okay, down if. If down the line, if I, you know, I hit some bumpy road and I need to get back on my energy, I'll do it. But I didn't care for a calendar. And this is that kind of calendar. But if you're trying to look, and we're making a new calendar where it's very simple. It's technically going to explain white, blue, and green in its simplest, in a better way. Without having, you know, the whole airline, uh, uh, you know, trafficking uh, yeah. calendar up there. The new calendar will be very quickly to look at and either to balance your mind or balance your body, change your breath. And, and uh, I, I, will, I will give you guys a sneak peek on that. Oh, wait, I'm not on my computer. I'm on my, my computer is not connected. I, I would send you guys. It's going to be very simple because like I said, my job is I didn't want to, I'm not here to promote a calendar. I'm here to promote what we call sustainable and regenerative development, helping people to like care for each other, the planet, and what is important, you know, to our society. Society, and we need to do that pretty quickly with global climate and all this mm -hmm. BS that's going on. And so, I'm using the calendar to mainly to just do that. And so, we need to simplify this calendar because, like, uh, uh, and 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 it could come today because uh, if you're in Lara today. Um, um, Lily, it's going to be harder for you to even get it. And if I think, if I think so, I think you're seven. And seven and eight today are in Lara. And Lara <laughs> means, oh my God, it's 
you're not getting this. Like, it's very tough to get this, you know? And so therefore you, when you're in a group and you know each other's calendar, yeah. then you can prepare them. You give them the permission, just, just, just listen today. Don't, don't make no decision today. Don't, 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 don't be the leader because if you lead today, you will lead with a Lara mind. You know, you will right. lead with a party mind. So uh, like, the, like that story, that I don't know if I told it, but the day that the high priest of the calendar was asked to give a presentation, yeah. he was on a Lara day. So he's, even though he knows his topic inside and out, he knows that people are not going to listen to him because that's the day where he will fail. So he pushed me in front of the audience because I was a green day. And I spoke on behalf of him. He got the award and everything. But, you know, he, he, we executed that it doesn't matter about who leads. No, exactly. Yeah. It's about the team succeeding together. Yeah. Okay. And that's very hard for a very modern mind to think. Modern mind where everything is individual, individualistic. Ancient mind and, and, and indigenous culture we we will step back if you are today is your day and you may not know about the calendar okay and that's why i last last month uh, um, lily asked me to speak a last month talk and i said no I, I, it's a terrible day i'm 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 going to i'm not going to succeed so i choose a day that i could succeed and move forward and if i wasn't and you say if lily said you had to do it then i would choose someone to represent me. I can still be there and be the support, be the knowledge provider, but have someone deliver the message. And that's how you, that's why we call this calendar Wariga United is because this calendar is made for you guys to work together. And especially, I want to say this to Cheyenne or anyone who's working with energy or anyone who is like dealing with energy work. This is a great calendar that you learn. Even if you don't learn it for yourself, you should learn about the energy of the day so that way you can help the people that you do energy work with. And, mm -hmm. and that's why if you look at the Balinese, they don't have yoga. They don't have no physical wellness activity. Why? Because their calendar is their yoga. Because if you know the behavior of the day, you just shift very little. You change your breath. You change your posture, you change your stride, you change your intelligence. Like instead of listening to me, just look at me. Make listening be the second modality. So what I say is not as important as how I look or how my hair is or what I'm doing with my hands. Just pay attention to the, the nuances of me and let listening to me be the second because if you have a Lara day, it's gonna be easier for you to process. You see, and that's Hi, how Dad. the Balinese. Hi, Dad. Did you, Balinese. did you explain yeah. the guru? You explained the Patty and Laura, but did you explain the guru? Okay. The guru on those days is like the teacher, okay? And the guru can teach on those days. Those are the day where people want to listen to you more. So if you okay. have to talk to somebody, you know, your children. I only talk to my children on, on, on Guru or Ratu Day. I avoid all Laura and Patti. If I have to lecture my children or you know my student, I lecture them on Guru Day. I just drill down on them because they're gonna listen to me. Or if I need them to respect me at the divine level, then I use a, a, a Ratu Day. Ratu means queen or king, and and it's uh, it's universal in Bali. It, it could be queen or king, and and Ratu means they will listen to you with divinity. There will, okay. there will be a tone. There will be, you know, they will hear like, uh, uh, you know, uh, angels in the back. If it was a, a Ratu, that's how, you know, people will listen to you more. So that's that's how Ratu in those days uh, should be looked at. What also, about the, the three colors of because I know it's hard to read on the print in here. Like you have sometimes the the Lara Ratu, they're either on a blue background, a white background, or yellow. Okay, if it's on, if it's red, 
text and I, I explained it on the side column and I'm it's you hard know, to like read said, it's on there. Yeah, you guys you guys have to print it out and, and look at it. I know that's hard on the I'm doing that. <laughs> if it's on if it, like I said, if it's Lara or the acronym is in red, that means it's a negative day. Okay. Mm -hmm. You will never get a red on a blue. You will get a red on a yellow. A red text on a yellow. And if it's on a yellow, it means slow it down. Slow down that day. Not only if it's negative, but if you don't slow down, you have, okay. Besides the Lara and the party, which is the negative mind and the bad outcome, you have the, the gender not being in balance, which is the acronym. And the, and, but you can change the acronym if you have high emotional intelligence and you say, I could be a man today, I could be more masculine, or I can be a woman today and be more nurturing, or I could be more transgender by being, you know, not being forceful, just being like, oh, I can go either way. Okay. If you can do that, then you can change the second one, the, the acronym. But if it's on yellow, it means slow it down. Okay. So that's the reflection day. Now, if it's a blue, uh, if it's a blue text on a blue box, that means if, blue text is good. But if it's on a blue box, it's even better. It's on a, a full blue box, it's even better. Any boxes that are blue, but it has a blue box in the middle, where the Ratu or the Guru is on top of, of, of another blue box, okay? That means it's the closest to being green. Mm. So the more blue those things are, then they become green. And if you look at the green, you see the green, all that is blue. Huh. That makes sense? Yeah. 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 You know, that's what I think. I think you guys need to, we need to just look at the calendar in the most basic form. Because if you look at the, and this is like, yeah. We're working on this. Is what we're. This is why we actually the research to the West. And like right. I said, we don't regenerate this to regular people. This is not your. Like I said, this is not your horoscope. This is an elective calendar. This is to make you. If you want sacredness, this is about as sacred as it's gonna get. Like there are days where I think like I'm supposed to be on the top level of those guys that can understand because I'm born on a green day. Someday, man, I just, like I said, like, especially the red day, I just want to crawl back to the bed. I'm going back to bed, you guys. This, yeah. I, I can't deal with it because it's just emotionally in flux. And, 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 and even if you have the ability, you're not just dealing with your own energy. Your energy is one calendar. And then you got the four, three other people energy. And you guys don't even know the three other people Every group has three groups. So there's technically 12 type of people. Okay, not four type of people. And it's it's overwhelming. But if you have to get it done, it's a fantastic tool. Like I said, those who, who just experienced the div day, like I said, it's amazing. It's like, like well, for me, green days are like Christmas, you know, from the divine. Like I get what I want. How do we know what color we were born on? We need to go through your calendar. I need to, I need to actually look into your calendar more deeply than just uh, uh, looking, at, uh, uh, looking at the basic app and then seeing the, the Europe number. But it doesn't take me long. If you're, if you're interested, I will do it for you guys. You know, if you guys want to know. Yeah. And then, but you got to you gotta be ready to face the, do the truth. Work. If you're gotta do the red, work. It's rough. It's rough. You know, you know, if you don't know, it's nice. That's why I said I want you to work and build your energy first. Yeah. Start, don't don't worry if you're red or green. Just just get into the alignment of white, blue, and green. Just get into that flow for now, okay? And then when you're in that flow for a couple of weeks or until the end in, in March, we'll go again. We'll look at you again, and at that time you say, yeah, I'm in flow, I, and I want more. And trust me, if you're in flow, you're going to want more. Yeah. Okay? That's, that's the thing about elective calendar. It's like when, you, when you're in flow with that energy, you're not operating on a mental where yes or no, if I get it, I don't. No, it's like, it's like food. It's energy, right? 
So it's like, I got to eat the calendar. Like I, I need to know what that day is so I can eat it, you know? And because it's energy rather than, 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 than mind and thought. So if you get into that place, then I will help you. We will migrate more. And, and like I said, the best part about this, you guys, is you have a, like, you have a beautiful community. And, and I would love to build this calendar, get everybody to build this calendar so that way you migrate and create a project together or a series of projects together and help Ooh. each other. And then even if you have a double red, you know who they are in the group and you green people and you blue people, you help those red, you, you coach them out, you know? Okay. I, so is everybody okay? Those of you that are interested, I'm not going to do it. Um, you have to let me know through messengers the easiest way. And if it's okay with high dye, then I'll do a separate page for this study. And then, yeah, or you know what, create a WhatsApp group for us. You want to you know, I, I feel okay. like, yeah, if I, I send it to you and then you have that responsibility. I can send a WhatsApp group and then we can communicate better. But okay. you know, like I said, I want. I just wanted a commitment to say that I'm. I'm willing to invest the time. I, you know, you know, I love you to death, Lily, and I know that if you're working with people, these are super people, and so let's migrate toward building something together yes. rather than you know, like I said, this individual thing. And then we can look at projects and stuff that we can work together that can be very dynamic. And there's and there's a lot of, you know, I see from my experience with a lot of team. When they work as individual, things don't work. But when they work as a collective, you know, come on, you know Bali, you know how they work. You see how the village work. When yeah. they work together, they can move mountains. You know, they're like little ants, you know? And, yeah. and I think that this is something that's very hard for the West to, to, to really understand. Yeah. But I think that if we can have a group of, you know, small and conscious people, then we can use this calendar. And I would love to case study that I have two groups that I'm working with now, and I've seen them went from, you know, like I, I always joke with them, you guys are like the bad news bear, and now, you know, you're winning champions, you know, like you're, you're, you're making things happen, you know? So We'll be your West case study, girls, won't we? Yes. <laughs> yes, that's good. you know, I think if you guys can do that, that would be great. I think that'd be magical. I think you guys got a group of uh, diverse people here, and, and and you are at, I think, at a, at a place in your life where I think you're going to take, take things seriously. And I'm telling you, this calendar can get that, that group. And if you can get that, this group to do that and to regenerate it, oh, my God, that would be awesome. Like, to me, that's like, that would be a blessing for all of us to, to have that kind of dynamics uh, uh, for, for everyone to work together and, and co-create something and, and, then, and, and right now is that time really right now on the planet is that time wow hi Di. thank you you know i was just thinking suzanne when love i hope you don't mind i pick on you for a moment but i happened to glance at your chart and i saw that i think it was the eighth and i know that you've been going through some really great stuff with your work and when i heard hi Di talk about um poets the poetry for couples that are separating and i know you work with mediation in the court system can you imagine being able to work in that dynamic of flowing through the poetry of of that so again like bringing all those dynamics together and being able to help one another with with everything is is very very divinely divinely led so thank you so much hi die before we let hi die go though um is there anybody that has another question Everybody's okay. Hi, Di. How, There's not. Yes, oh, Sylvia. Go ahead. How how do we get the calendars, like for the next month and and that? Yeah, because like I said, I uh, I will give it to you before March. Oh, and, okay. and if you have a specific day that you want to do it in March, if you're planning something, then uh, then we can talk about it because okay. I that's why my goal here is to re really regenerate. I've seen years where they may, you know, sure, we, we sold the calendar. You, if you want to buy the calendar, we, 
I can give you the name and, and, and your WhatsApp and they will sell you the calendar. But to me, like I said, we're not building any groups. It's just another product that people use and people, like I said, they use it even as an individual level. So uh, if, if you can wait, then I usually, by the, usually the 25th of every month, I will produce another calendar and I give it to them because I prefer people to use the calendar to be in presence. Yes. It's about, mm -hmm. you know, rather than I give you the, the, the 12 month, but you know, they're, the the organization that uh, uh, that that does the calendar, I can give you that, and you can buy the whole year. And like I said, you can you can follow. It. It, they don't have blue, red. I mean, they don't have white, blue, and green. They they're it's just all white. But I can help you really quick. If you know, if you want to, you get one of this calendar, and I help you. But I don't touch the calendar, or I don't create a calendar. Uh, usually on the third week and it's a blue day. So I'm always sending the best vibe uh, to the calendar because um, each everyone who creates a calendar has, it creates a little bit different, you know, it's a little different behavior, the way they see things. I, I, I tied all the behavior environment and its meaning to uh, uh, behavior science you know, uh, which is my research in social emotional learning. I'm, I'm one of the leading uh, uh, researcher here in Asia for CMEO, which is Southeast Asia Ministry of Education Organization on social emotional learning, on uh, uh, behavior science um, for, for ecosystem development. So I use the calendar specifically for that, you know, so. Uh, okay. Yeah, I like the fact that we'll do it organically together. Um, yes. So what I'm going to need from all of you, if it's um, and I'll work on that this afternoon, is I need all your what WhatsApp phone numbers. So you send me your phone numbers, and I put it in, and then I'll start a separate group for this for this work. Yeah, okay. and then just, I, I just felt myself nice. off WhatsApp recently. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, or you guys want to use Telegram, whatever. I'm I'm all fine too. <laughs> what I love about once we're on a group like that is that uh, I'll send you a bunch of surveys that you guys can answer at, 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 as a group. And then you'll get to find out like what everybody does and then leverage on everybody based on behavior science, based on, on, on social emotional learning. And it's, it's a, you want to talk about a real support group. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, right now you have a support group and you talk to each other, but Imagine if you know the day to go to each other and for what topic. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, you, especially you, you, you got a group this size of, you know, of, of women. Oh my God. Like to me, I'm like sitting here going, wow, this is, this is, this is a, this is golden. This is a part of gold, you know, like this is, this is magic you guys have here. If you know how to really use and leverage each other. This, yes. you have a very strong bond here and, and, and strong group or community to work with. Thank you for that validation, Hi Dai, because they mm -hmm. certainly are. We've been with each other now for a while and it's been magic. Uh, Vicki, honey, you have a, a question. Yes, um, good morning, thank you. Um, Hi Dai, on the bottom um, of the calendar where it says weekday flow with the ocean's oh. behavior <laughs> environment, what's that about? Okay, this is great. Okay, good question. One of the reasons why we are all in our head is because we lack spatial intelligence. Spatial, spatial intelligence is, yeah, spatial. Oh, spatial. Where, where, we at, where we at in the world, what direction is northeast, southwest, what is the energy of, of all around us? And, and this, if you no multiple intelligence. Spatial intelligence allow us to look at meta structure, to look at big picture. So besides the Lara Pati, Guru uh, 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 Ratu, besides the gender, besides the mind, body, uh, mind step and conclusion, is this uh, cardinal calendar. So if you look at the side of the where it's a Monday, the, the first row, which is your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday column, you mm -hmm. see south, north, east, west, right? 
Yes. And then you see a letter right next to it, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you go down to the bottom of your calendar, you'll be able to see L means this, R means that, right? Yes. So it means that depending on what direction you want to go, okay? Depending on what direction that you want to go, it could bring you fortune or, or it could cause you trouble. Wow. So, so today, I, I don't have the calendar in front of me because like I said, I'm on my, uh, wait, give me one second. I will find it. Um, Hold on a minute. The one that you sent us today? No, no. It, it, all the calendar, if you look at the side. So today is a, uh, today is a Tuesday, right? Mm -hmm. So if you look on Tuesday, it's the third box down or the fourth box down where it says Tuesday, Angara. You see that? Yeah. Okay. Everybody see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. North is blue and north is P. That means if you go north, you will give a win-win solution. If you go south, it's L, you will cause trouble and ask for effort. Oh, I, I don't see it. East, huh? If you go east, east is, what did it say? East, east is. Uh, w. It just says east, W. W, w, w right? Yeah, yeah. No, wait. Yeah. No, east is it's w? w. Yeah. Yes. East yeah. is W. So you look at W, it stands, we'll use color word. That means uh, they're very, they, they're going to be very good at supporting you with their words. Um. And if you go west, L. Yeah. It means cause trouble and ask for some effort. Okay. You see what I mean? Yeah. Yes. So what you're going to start doing is you're going to start practicing on how to travel in your world. And this will help you build spatial intelligence. You try it for a month when you start going out. So literal travel? Are we talking literally or symbolically? Yeah, literally. You, and if you look below that, if you look below that, you see from a.m. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, what time of the day, if you travel or if you meet people, it can be developed like uh, Thursday. Okay. If Thursday. Which books? Hold on a minute. Where at are the bottom. Here? So Thursday, so you go right across all those boxes are dates are the Thursdays. So they correspond to the Thursday energy. Yeah. Those will give you the, the when to set up meeting and watch out for meetings that are under, under those times. Okay, okay. And you've got the- And cardinal. that's all based on the rise and tide of the ocean. Oh, so <laughs> good. That's so good. Yeah, yeah. Sure. but are those Bali times or the Canada times? <laughs> no, no, they, 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 like I said, wherever time, wherever the sun is, whatever your time is, it's your time. Oh. Okay, thanks. And I love down and, here, sorry, the meaning of the cardinal directions and the heading. I love it that it's in English down here, which is very helpful. Go ahead, Tammy, you had something else? No, I'm, when you were talking about the directions, is it as simple as going for a walk? in that direction to generate that energy or to change that shift that energy no no this is for meeting up with people or meet uh, me, uh, meeting up with people this is mainly for meeting up with people all for the directions okay yeah okay yeah so you know if, if you're by yourself don't worry about it okay but <laughs> <laughs> we just bring in yeah. the four directions yeah, no, <laughs> They'll be bad. You're like, oh my God, I'm losing money at this time. No, not, if, you, if you meet them at that time, you will lose money. If you meet them that time, it will be troublesome. Uh, the, um, you know, last year we had this story and I only like, remember, I'm a, I'm a social scientist. So I don't look at this calendar and get all like, okay, hey, you know, is it real or not real? I'm looking at it to say, okay, if I believe in this, what behavior science what neural science is happening to me okay so to me i don't look at this and say oh it's 
true or not, you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to be broken hearted if I meet with someone from 1218 to 1242 on a Thursday. Okay, so technically, uh, if I'm meeting with you guys between 10 o'clock, well, I met with you at 10, okay? Uh, which is at 10, it was safe, but dangerous. <laughs> this is safe, but this group is dangerous, okay? <laughs> but if I would have met you at 10, 18, then it would have been, I would have been broken hearted or I would have made someone broken heart. Somebody's getting broken heart in this relationship, okay? So I don't 100% believe this, because I'm a social scientist, but last year there was a loss. Someone stole money at the at the hotel, and of course they call me and they say, "Oh, you the all knowing, uh, you know who you think would steal at the mansion, you, you know." And Lily, you can check with Claudine because yeah. you know she loves you, and you can check with her personally. Yeah, yeah. So there's some money stolen from the mansion. And so they ask us, hey, what, what, what is it? And I said, you know, I came in, you know, and I sound like one of those old padanda. but <laughs> I just followed the calendar because I had nothing else to say, you know, like <laughs> how am I supposed to know? And, you know, so I, jokingly, I said, it's someone from the South. See, that sounds very, ooh, he is so spiritual. So I said, it's someone from the South. They have cruel intention and they will do you wrong. Well, they checked. The accountant was from the South and they did the check and they found out the accountant took that money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you were to ask <laughs> me, yeah, if you were to ask me this story, I would deny it. If we were, this was an academic group, I would say, I don't know what they're talking about. Some crazy made up story, but you can ask Claudine, the owner of the mansion. Yeah, that's yeah. what happened. Yeah. Is it? Is it true? Well, like I said, the, all the ancient people know that if you come from certain direction, you bring bad energy. So if mm -hmm. I'm going to go meet Lily, so they, you know, and I'm from the north of Lily, and I come on a good day, I will bring good energy to her. If I come from a, a bad energy way, I will bring something bad to her. And it doesn't mean me. It's just the energy that I bring. And most ancient people know this. Okay, it's in the ancient ways. But we don't practice it in the modern world enough, you know? So um, this is something that, you know, uh, I think if you can follow, it's another great emotional, intelligent workout for all you guys. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it, it, it will build spatial intelligence, which will allow you to start looking at your, like right now, if you ask your community where they all live, you guys don't know if they come from North, East, South or West, do you? Okay. And then if they come and visit you, you don't know what direction they're coming from. All right. And they're not conscious either. So you know what? They don't even look at it when they come. They're like, whatever, I'm going to come. I'm coming and say you. And whatever energy I bring to you, I'm going to bring to you. But now before I come see you, I'm going to make sure I bring the right energy with me. Well, that's, like I said, we don't know what enlightenment is. All we know is an expansion of that experience. And by you knowing all these behavior environment, you will expand your vocabulary, your framework, your emotional connection to this experience. And by doing that, you will live a more enlightened, enlightened enlightenment life, enlightenment, you know, a relationship. And I think there's a lot to say about that. And then I can go into a lot of better benefit about the calendar like if you think that you can uh manifest on div day once wait until you be able to manifest i mean figure out the calendar and then flow with the calendar i have to be so conscious of not thinking stuff because it will come true so fast and i'm like i was just joking i was i wasn't even serious about it that's how fast it comes but you know like i said that's something you need to experience, you know, yourself. That's that's the beauty of being sucked into this, you know, 70,000 kilometer per hour force. Once you're in that force and you start thinking like that force, well, you're not manifesting it. You're flying right into it. And, and technically your manifestation is just a precursor of it telling you it's coming, <laughs> you know, and it, 
uh, I want to end this conversation with this poem. Since you, you, you did put the responsibility of love on my talk today. So all month I was like, oh my God, I'm going to come up with something good for love for them to say. So I will share with you, uh, I, I, not the song because I, I can't sing the Japanese song, but it was a, it's a beautiful poetic song about love. And it's about uh, uh, this, this, this person who climbed this mountain uh, in search of himself. And he, they climbed this mountain and they climbed this high mountain in Japan. And when they got up to the top of the mountain in search of himself, he, all he saw was this beautiful flower. And this beautiful flower, he looked at it and he was so much in love with it, you know? And he was like, oh my God, I can't believe I finally have been able to see something so beautiful. And then so he thought to himself, oh, I should pick it. I should pick it and take it home. Uh, you know, and they go, no, no, I cannot pick it. You know, I, I should pluck it. I should, you know, just undig it, dig it from the ground and take it home. And they go, no, it, it will never grow where I live, you know? So he, he spent time with it and then he went home. <laughs> He went home and years after years, he would still keep thinking about this flower, still keep dreaming about this flower and wishing that he could see it again. And then years go by as he gets old, you know, right before he realized that he's not gonna live much longer, he decided to climb back up the mountain. He used all his might, he used all his energy to climb back up that mountain and he climbed back up there and he sees the flower again. And he just wept and he told the flower, oh my God, all my life, I loved you. I dreamed about you and now I finally get to see you, you know? And I, I was so much in love with you and I just wanna let you know that. And the flower replies to him, it wasn't you who loved me. It was me longing for you all this time. Mm -hmm. And it's a Japanese song and poem. And when I heard, oh, thank you. I love <laughs> yeah. that. Thank you, Tracy. Yeah. When I heard this poem, I'm like, you know what? What we love, loves us too. Yeah. What we want, wants us too. You know? And we just need to get into that flow of it. And we'll, we're going to get exactly that. Because what you manifest or what you wish, it wants you just as much as you want it. It just only you are blocking of not coming. You, only you are not flowing in, into, its, in, into its connection. So with that, that's my story of love. And that's my homework. I did it. Thank you, Hi Dai. So we've got a lot of homework to do. But before we leave Hi Dai today, yeah. if you are comfortable with it, Hi Dai has given us so much, so much today in these two hours. I mean, I could stay on with him all day, but can we give high die to put into his heart one word from each of you of what you've received today? So Vicki, can you unmute my love and we'll start with you and high die, open your heart, my love. I know it's open, this is for you. Vicki. Grateful. Thank you, darling. Pat. Come back to me. <laughs> Sylvie. Uh, beautiful. Oh, thank you, Rondi. Hope. Louise. Oneness, thank you. Mm, Cheyenne. Harmony. Harmony, beautiful. Sandy. Love. Thank you, Suzanne. Community. Thank you, Susan. Bliss. Oh, beautiful. Lisa. Gratitude. Thank you, Sheila. Wisdom. Thank you, Tammy. I'm also gratitude. Constance. Blessing. Valhalla. Sorry, love, you're not unmuted. We still can't hear you. I'm yeah. grateful. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Tracy. Thank you, Lynn. Appreciation. Mm, Sylvie. That was my appreciation. Yeah, Sylvie on iPhone. Sorry. Uh, I, I think I said beautiful earlier. 
Thank you, darling. And Anne? Yeah. Anne probably didn't hear us. Pat, do you want to? Yes, my word is peace. Yes. Do you feel all that, high die? We love you for your brilliance, your knowledge, but most of all, for the soul of who you are. What a blessing that you're on this planet at the same time we are, so we can continually learn. Yes, I'm, I'm excited to see what we can create with